You know your business, don't you, Doc? You heard of mine, then? Cocaine's not legal anymore. But you don't necessarily allow two ounces a year for a custom, so ain't you? I feel the Jew said he can supply me with as much snow as I can shift. Going good, yeah? Yeah, brilliant. Like, think we're selling one thing and stay for the other. Help me! I've been afraid. There were three of them. I think one of them might have been Philip Jeffs. And I did not rape that woman. Why would she lie, then? Were you in it? He says he didn't do it. Do you believe him? Mr. Foreman, how do you find Philip Jeffs? Not guilty. Your lucky day. Indeed. the girls getting hurt. She's clearly overdosed. A copper in the skirt steal a copper and not a rat to coppers. What happened? She was selling the latest batch. She must have tried some. Gracie, come on, girl, wake up. It's just like that other girl. We thought that was an accident. Once is an accident. Gracie? Get to the hospital. Where's that fucking Jew? Well, it's an innocent mistake. Oh, you're using boracic acid. Look, I mean, it's tough times. Sometimes we've got to stretch the doings. I mean, borax is harmless. Yeah, not in that quantity. But a girl nearly died, Phil, and that's not good for me business. See, customers need to know that I'm selling them top quality, and I need to know that you're selling quality to me. Look, I've been a bit short lately to trial. It's an unfortunate distraction. Not least for Ida Maddox. I was found innocent. Yeah, you were. But maybe the kind of bloke who gets away with rape is the kind of bloke who thinks he can get away with anything. Now, I don't care if you swim to China and get the snow yourself. I want quality or I'm going somewhere else. Absolutely. As I said, it's an innocent mistake. You want me to lighten up on the bike? Double that twenty percent. I show Kate Lean. I show both of them, Kate and Tilly. I'll put them out of fucking business. Tilly Devine had three tiers of prostitutes. The boat squad went to the docks to serve sailors. The brothel girls, the customers came to them, but Tilly's prettiest girls catered to a wealthier clientele. With Nellie Cameron no longer on the books, Evelyn Morris was Tilly's highest grossing asset. Room 24. Client's name's Joe. Be back in an hour. Evelyn made more money in a night than a boat girl earned in a week.
I went to pick her up, she wasn't there. Found her in a hotel room like this. Customer in shop through. Why you shut the front door? You go and call the doctor! What I tell? Bandages! And you don't shut your face, I'll slash it again myself! And fucking kill Kate Lee! But it wasn't Kate who set up Evelyn. <laughs> Didn't you hear, Kate? Sly grog's illegal. You guys got anything better to do? Not when you're serving piss to kings. What? Well, never. Who say such a thing? And it wasn't Tilly who set up Kate. Phil the Jew's plan was taking shape. And it wasn't just Kate and Tilly who were feeling the heat. Darlinghurst is leaking out into the city. I want to stop that leak. Well, you've got the new drug laws. Why aren't they working? Well, so, with all due respect, the law has made the cocaine problem worse. All the addicts who are buying it legally are now forced to procure it illegally. Demand's gone up, the price has increased, there's more incentive for criminal elements to supply it. Those razor slashings out there, that's a tough war over who gets to supply the cocaine. You didn't fight in the war, did you? Essential services. I have a theory about the men who really wanted to go but couldn't. They feel the need to make up for it. They work harder, achieve more. But you're the head of CIB now. What do you need to stop it? The cocaine, what do you need? Uh, well, a designated group, uh, specifically targeting dealers and street runners. Uh, You've got it. I didn't see active service either, Bill. Congratulations, gentlemen. You're now members of the inaugural New South Wales Drug Squad. J just the two of us? For now, yes. So what's the plan? One word. Arrest. Everyone. Dealers, suppliers, users. I might hope they got how small. Damn. Fine, and they're back on the streets within the hour. Premier's gone out on a limb for us. We need to give him something back, something big. What? Spit it out. Well, Special Constable Arnfield. Yes, what about her? She found one of Kate's girls fitting in the street. She thought the girl was a prostitute. Kate Lee doesn't run prostitutes. She's into slay good old and stolen goods. That's what I told him. Well, it turns out she's selling these. See, I think Mrs. Lee has them look like prostitutes, but they're really selling cocaine. I thought Phil Jess was a main cocaine supplier. I pulled in a few of his boys, but it's Kate Lee is down at Central Court with a wallet out. Where are they getting it from? From China, by shit. I'll find out. Gentlemen, Kate Lee really is supplying cocaine. I want her head on a plate. Chamomile tea. It's supposed to help with the pain. If that don't work. The doc will visit you every day. And you stay in bed as long as you need. And there's this. 
It's your account. It's all the money I've been banking for you since you came to work for me. Oh, come on, darling. You won't be getting customers. Not with a face like that. It'll be home to the bush or the boat squad, but it won't pay nearly what you've been making. Now, look, don't you look at me like that, all right? It's your own fucking fault. I don't know how many times I have to warn you lot to watch yourselves. It was Kate Lee, wasn't it? She was buying that fake customer. My bit's filled with you. That's the word on the street. Kate's had some trouble as well, ain't she? Girls frothing at the mouth. Well, you think the Jew's behind that as well? You bet I do. Well, why would he? He's trying to knock us both out of the picture. Yeah, what do we do about it? Nothing. We up security, stay low. See if someone else is silly enough to make a move first. Some slut from Dubbo, for instance. Tilly. I wonder... Could I work as your cook? Oh, darling, you can't even boil water. I, I could learn. That's Kate Lee's place. You think she's dealing cocaine? You catch her. Write down all comings and goings. She knows what I look like. Don't let her see. We wove a sticky whip in a dirty little game, and I was hypnotized. All your bad juju and all your weird voodoo made me go blind. There was nothing there but the shell of the girl you left behind. Bleeding money. Bail's costing me a fortune. Yeah, well, what can we do? Bloody Dad and Dave are out there locking people up as soon as look at them. They're, they're only carrying a couple of twists. Kid outside wants to see you. Oh. Dunno. Wants a job. Been waiting out there all morning. Yeah, tell him to bugger off. I did. Says he's not leaving until he talks to you. Just tell everyone to lie low. It's just a storm. It'll blow over. Bruce, he's my name. Yeah, I don't have any work, so you can fuck off from me doorstep. I work for nothing. Hmm? Then you're a fool. Or the smartest man in town. Do you know the value of learning from the smartest woman in town? I'm no teacher, and you're still a fool. He's not leaving, Ma. Much sugar. Not for sale. Oh, everyone's for sale. You know, your purse and you won't get hurt. It's a bloody bag. I think I'm a police constable. <laughs> yeah, right. Woman copper. My name's Special Constable Lily. Oh, Where's your uniform?
some people out there <laughs> like fucking dogs. <laughs> know what you're thinking. That's what people say about me, hey? Yeah, it's like hell, I know. But I've got to get the stones out. <laughs> Why put yourself through this? Chasing people like me. Because what you're doing is against the law. Selling liquor illegally. Wasn't ten years ago. Probably won't be in another ten years. <laughs> you're parked in a stupid spot in a stupid moment in history. Why do it to yourself? You got a fella? Or a girl? Never. Don't knock what you ain't tried. Nothing to do with. Some things are just wrong. Gary isn't the same, and there's a wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving it to you. I'm not selling it to you. Medicinal. You're not committing a crime. You don't drink. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I don't either. You? Yeah. But I got me reasons. For you. You don't drink because you're scared you might let yourself go. You're like a fucking man. Life of denial. Of service. <sighs> to what? For what? What's she doing Dentist still in pork, okay, okay. We can't touch dentists. Government did a deal. We take street dealers and traffickers. Pharmacy board looks after this all. Yes, for technical violations. But these aren't technical violations. These are dentists on selling the cocaine allowance to the likes of Phil Jeffs, Kate Lee, and Jim DeVille. It doesn't matter, my hands are tied. We know for sure, for sure, one of the dentists who's supplying Phil Jeffs with cocaine, and you're telling us not to arrest him. I'm telling you to wait. Talk to my counterpart on the pharmacy board. If you want something to do, get onto Kate Lee. You're supposed to be hunting her down, not the bloody dentist of Sydney. What's going on? Mm, you know, we have to track the punters back somehow. Raids are scared all these people off. Must be costing you a back. Yeah. Not to mention the price of bailing out with street girls. You now we'll be eating bread and dripping for the rest of the month. <laughs> right. Eating them with diamonds on our fingers? That kid's still waiting for you. Huh? Higgs. Outside says he's not leaving till you give him a job. Where is he? This is Lee. 
leave your hat on. Well, your mum always told me to take it off for a lady. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm no lady, but I'm old enough to be your mother. I don't care. You're the prettiest thing I've seen in a long time. You probably ain't seen much. Enough to know what I want. <laughs> and what's that? First, a job. I ain't got nothing for Doesn't you. Doesn't matter. I'm yours. To do what? Whatever you want. Give him a job. What? No, for fuck's sake, just let him drive the car. <laughs> what? Katie. Just check the latest batch from the Jew. Ed? Katie. Don't fucking Katie me. What's going on? Well, I don't That's know. That's no still filthy. Some of that dodgy snow still bumped me making its way through the system. But I'm packing up a new batch as we speak. It's all on the up and up. Now, tell these girls are getting slashed and they ain't by me. Coppers are all over me, joints and I'm betting it's not her. Now, one, one thing I can say about the sly bitch is that she hates coppers. You got mates in the cops, Phil? Well, it's part cool in the castle. You are. Got a lot of books at your place, don't you, Phil? Yeah, a lot of paintings on the wall. Man who thinks he's better than the rest of us. Cleverer. Okay, yes. Norman Brune thought he was clever, too. And he's six foot under getting eaten by maggots. One more speck of dodgy cocaine. One more raid, and you'll be joining it. Boss said no. Well, so we just leave it? My bloke's identified another two dentists in the Jew's pocket. Oh, your drug squad or what? She's up for it. She fucks up. It's on you. Ma'am, can I help you? I do hope so. I feel a little... Ooh. Is it a toothache? Take a look at it for you. It's just, I'm on my lunch break. I can't lose my job and I don't have time for an extraction. No problem, I can give you some Novocaine to keep you going. Or something stronger. The pain is very bad. Maybe some snow? There's nothing wrong with your tooth, is there? Well, if you've got seven shillings and sixpence, I'll sell you a tube. Maybe there's a place for women coppers after all. Playing moles and dopers. They've arrested Stan. Stan who? One of the dentists. Riley Street is number 17 on the list. Oh, yeah, there's Stan. They'll be coming for us. No, they won't. Stan won't say nothing. He's a pussycat. But once they get one dentist... Yeah, they're going to get them all eventually. Which is why... We have a backup plan. What, lead pencils? Uh, not lead. <sighs> Pure cocaine. Fresh off the boat from the land of rice. Say goodbye to the dental practices, Ernest. Say hello to the stationery business. And we don't have to cut it anymore. We don't have to, but we're gonna 50%. What, 50? Well, only for Kate. The rest, give 10. Get started on that, lot. You can give him a hand. What in blazes were you thinking? 
arresting dentists. Yes, Mr. Premier. Half the bloody parliament are dentists and chemists. That's why there's a deal. Mr. Premier, a The real pharmacy life. board polices the pharmaceutical industry. The police take care of the traffickers. The dentists and chemists are the bloody traffickers. One dentist. He's just the first. My men have positively identified over a dozen dentists regularly selling cocaine to the likes of Phil Jeffs and Kate Lee. They even started with the chemists. You want to stop the cocaine? This is where it's coming from. I can't ask the pharmacy board to do its job unless you can do yours. Are you saying that there's no cocaine coming in through the ports illegally from fishermen? Chinese? No, but I know for a fact... Lee, there's... you say? And Jeffs? They're not chemists. They're not dentists. And they're the ones supplying it on the streets. Bring me one of them. Then we can talk about dentists. Sir, with all due Bring respect... Bring me Kate Lee, the worst woman in Sydney. I need the papers to print a story where we're winning. in hospital and no one will buy from us. So let's do the dirty on him. Permanent. Katie. What? He's fucking us over and he's laughing in our face. It's got to do something. We don't kill. We did. We didn't. Tilly did. Remember the world of shit that poured down on us? Car's washed and I fixed the wobbly tyre. Anything else you want me to do? Not right now. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> All right. We don't kill him. But we fucking teach him a lesson he don't forget. Message from Kate Lee. Eden Avenue. Tonight. Ten o'clock. I'm fine. Uh, war. Tell everyone. Going. Coletti's been paid to fight. Who for? I don't care. Whichever side he's on puts me on the other. You're on a divine side, all right? No one else is. She'll be back, mate. It's not like she's going to stay with that oily wop for long. Mind you, you might have to boil her to get rid of the grease. I am missing out. Get it. Game personal stops you thinking straight. Not that you ever took anything personally. Look, any enemy of that Dubbo cow's a friend of mine, all right? But there's no angle in fighting a war for someone else. What? You expect us to just sit there on the sidelines and watch? Yeah. Watch them all kill each other. Then who's the winner? We are. Till he's right, mate. You fucking know if I'm right. If I need to wash my hair anyway. You gotta be joking. This is why I joined your operation. How many fights have you ever had? Not enough. That's why I'm going. Yeah, well, this is a job for blokes like Wally. Hmm? Big, ugly blokes. Doesn't matter if they get smacked in the head. Tell me how much respect you'd have for me if I stay. See you after me.
Right, you go then. The old boys are meeting at the south end. Should have the advantage. So, uh, see you when I see you. Unless the racer gets me first. <laughs> Don't be stupid. He'll be back. Well, you make sure you get that prick, Jess. Summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. Tis you, tis you must go and I must buy. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow or oh, when the valley's hushed white with snow tis I'll be there in sunshine or in shadow oh Danny boy oh Danny boy I love you so why don't we just shoot him because the cops will be here faster than you can blink we teach him a lesson no one goes to jail and I will hear those soft you tread above me and all my dreams will warm and sweeter be if you'll not fail to tell me that you love me I simply sleep in peace until you Come to me. Let's go! It became known as the Battle of Blood Alley because of the amount of blood coagulating in the street. And within a couple of hours, most of the crooks had been charged, bailed and sent home.
other side looks worse. What about Bruce? We heard there were shots. Is he? Alive and kicking. Oh, thank goodness. I told you I'd be back. Who got shot? Archer. He had a blade to me throat. I had no choice. Yeah, maybe not. But you've put us in a pretty pickle. The Jew? He'll use that as an excuse to come after us. Where is he? His fancy lawyer made bail. And his mates, they made bail? So he's alone. You pulled a gun. You better finish what you started. Dead. Two bullets to the chest and he's still talking to the papers. Everyone had him dead for sure. What would it take to kill the little rat? We're being trampled by the press. Look at this one. Kately runs a cocaine empire. She organises a pitch battle in the streets and now she sends two gunmen to murder a man in cold blood. We've got to get that woman into a cell. No one will talk, Bill. And we can't get her on cocaine. She's got too many middlemen. Then we get her on whatever we can. Yeah, she cops are fine. Get on something that gives her jail time. Anything. Just get her off the street. Car's ready, Mr. Jeffs. Where to? Airlong. Central Coast? Yeah. Are you leaving Sydney? I know that my go to, if honest. Hey, it's a sign. Time to get a new tooth. So I'm gonna get a new life. He's gone. Packed up his house and moved up the coast. <laughs> what? The Jew. He's gone. <laughs> well, well, what do you know, eh? Bloke upstairs answers me prayers after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. How does that work exactly? Dear God, 
Oh, you went for help in my attempt to kill Bill Jeff. Please help me. Hey, what the hell is this going on? Ash, whatever it is you're looking for, there's nothing here. You can search wherever you like. I will, will. Not that it matters, we're not charging you with cocaine. Slight grog or even the attempted murder of Phil Jeffs. What things? You're under arrest for keeping a house frequented by thieves. What? You're going away, Kate. Say goodbye to your kitchen table. If it was just grog, Kate, you might have won the argument. But not cocaine, not murder. Frank. really left town for good what i hear and kate's in jail i reckon she'll get a year told you we just had to sit back and wait you know what this means boys this town is ours this town is mine